Hello, this is Abhishek Gade, and today we will be talking about mixed boundary condition open foam in CFD. So, this boundary condition is really important because it takes into account two boundary conditions. It mixes those two boundary conditions, and all the important boundary conditions are derived from this mixed boundary condition. So, this video is going to be really important if you want to know the overall picture. Because everything else, every important boundary condition is directly derived from this one. So this is the basic one. Okay, so let's start. So before uh, watching this video, the prerequisites are you will have to watch zero gradient boundary condition and CFD. Why? So to know the derivation, um, which I'll be directly writing the discretized terms in this video, the fixed gradient boundary condition and the fixed value boundary condition this two why because we we are going to consider these two boundary condition and mix them so if you have a little bit of idea how this individual boundary conditions work then it would be better okay so let us start what is a mixed boundary condition so mixed means mix two things are mixed one is the fixed value and one is the fixed gradient now there is a linear blending of them blending is nothing means i am mixing linearly i am linearly mixing this and how much to take how much this uh, phi b and g b so phi b denotes the fixed value and g b denotes the fixed gradient uh, often they are given by the values reference value and reference gradient uh, which we'll see afterwards so these two are given how much to take from this how much percent and how much percent from this so this is decided by the value fraction okay so value fraction is nothing but it is a value it is a scalar from 0 to 1 okay this types phi b and g b these types would be dependent on the variable which we are considering but f is a scalar we know the type of f is scalar now value fraction will decide how much percentage of fixed value to take and how much percentage of fixed gradient to take this is also a type of robin boundary condition means both bricholet and newman are considered okay so and yes it includes both explicit and implicit contributions we'll see how so because uh, there would be some terms which are not dependent on a variable which is lying inside Okay, and there would be terms, there would be some terms which you can directly write, like this is the value of that boundary. Okay, so as we saw in the previous videos, in fixed value and fixed gradient videos. So, this is a, actually a combination, that is why both explicit and implicit contributions are there. Okay, so let's start. How to use it in open form? This is, uh, this is specified like this, patch name. On the patch we want to apply on the boundary and in curly brackets we will write type mixed the reference value will give that is the phi b as i told and the reference gradient that's, that is g b and the value fraction that is the f which is denoted by f so this is how we'll specify it next directly i am writing the discretization of laplacian term at the boundary okay so this is the phi b that is the face center variable so variable at the face center and the nearest neighbor cell center is phi p okay so what is the distance between phi p and phi b that is magnitude d and this area normal vector is sf so this is the fixed value boundary condition gamma f sf dot grade phi f f will convert to b because we are talking at boundary so this is for fixed value it will convert like this uh, this uh, will open this uh, grade phi for fixed value and for fixed gradient we would like write like this directly gb because we know the value of grade phi okay so that is nothing but the gb and that is the gradient that is the fixed gradient so this we have already seen in the previous videos nothing new but let's see how how the things are going to change now okay so mixed boundary condition again 
so i'll take some factor now this is very important what i am taking as f and what i am taking as 1 minus f you should know if i am taking f as 35 percent means it is 0 0.35 because f will lie between 0 and 1 so 0 0.35 is for fixed value and not fixed gradient 0 0.65 will be for fixed gradient if 0 0.35 is for fixed value so we are taking f fraction of this and 1 minus f of this uh, don't confuse this it is the same just we have opened it up okay for fixed value so for fixed value the terms are this and for fixed gradient the terms are this remember we are talking about the laplacian terms so we'll take a, a fraction f we'll take this fraction 1 minus f and now we'll write it like this okay we are multiplying this minus 1 with f it becomes minus f this one we are multiplying with f it is going to become f yes so this is okay and here 1 minus f is coming down yes this is also okay now we'll just rearrange them and we'll see that what what we can do is gamma magnitude of sb we can take it as common from here okay and we'll see this comes inside the bracket so i'm just writing it uh, here we are multiplying it by distance t so that we can write it like we can means multiplying and dividing it so that is how we can write it like full the denominator as magnitude distance d and this is same what is here because we need a term which is multiplied by 5p that we need to keep it as separate see we can clearly see this is an implicit term and this is explicit this is clearly expressed and this is not clearly expressed it is again dependent on the variable 5p which is going to be calculated so this is what uh, we were talking previously both implicit and explicit contributions and let's move on next so this is the final terms these are the final terms of the discretization of this mixed boundary condition we see that both in coefficient matrix yeah, when, I, when this word came mixed, I understood like in both the matrices, both the coefficient matrices as well as the source matrices uh, matrix, uh, this thing is going to contribute. And yes, it seems, yes, it is true. This is going to contribute here and this is going to contribute in the source term. So both in the coefficient matrix as well as in the source terms, uh, this source matrix, these things are going to contribute, these terms. Let us see how it is implemented in the code. So we need to see, we need to write it like this, gamma b magnitude of sb, cgi 5p plus cgb. So we are now uh, comparing this with what we have brought out. And cgi is nothing but gradient internal coefficients and cgb is nothing but gradient boundary coefficients. So cgi, if we compare, what can we see? It is minus f by magnitude of distance d yes let us see if it is like that mentioned in the code minus value fraction into delta coefficients and delta coefficient is inverse of distance so yes correct minus f by magnitude d is uh, correct so cgi that is the gradient internal coefficient is mentioned like this now let us see this remove this distance d now we are uh, not considering here we are just considering for this f 5b divided by d here it is cancelling out it is uh, because it is uh, um, mentioned here in the code like this we have written it like this you can write it anyways so value fraction into f 5b divided by magnitude d so value fraction into uh, this into the de uh, delta coefficients this delta coefficients into the reference value now reference value is that 5b what we are going to set delta coefficients again divided by distance of magnitude distance d so see f 5b by d clearly done plus 1 minus f g b remember we are cancelling this so 1 minus value fraction into g b that is the reference gradient we have mentioned so this is how it is implemented in the code in the mixed fv page field dot c okay so having done this of uh, laplacian terms having completed this let us move on to the discretization of convective term at the boundary again i have 5b at the face 
center and I have phi p at the nearing near near neighboring cell center. Okay, so phi p at the cell. Now ff phi f is equal to fb phi b for fixed value and ff phi f is equal to fb phi p plus g b d i. Again, I am writing it directly because everything is mentioned in the previous videos how to bring that. So this is for the fixed value boundary conditions and this is for the fixed gradient boundary condition. Now we need to again take some contributions from both of them. Let us take it. So we are multiplying, we are taking f factor f multiplied with this fixed value and for fixed gradient we are multiplying it with 1 minus f. Okay, because f will lie between 0 and 1. So f okay it is multiplied 1 minus f it is multiplied here okay the main terms have been multiplied and now we'll just remove fb out as common and we'll rearrange we'll take terms which are multiplied by phi p on one side and all the remaining terms on the other side so see this clearly both implicit and explicit contributions are there here. okay uh, this is a uh, again mix that is why and see 1 minus f phi p plus this explicit terms so now we'll write the terms here we'll write the terms here and let us see whether it is which part is contributing where so whatever is multiplied with phi p that is going to contribute in the coefficient matrix and yes it is contributing there is some there are some terms so 1 minus f okay one term and there is also some part which is going to contribute towards the source matrix because it is explicitly mentioned if we see we also know phi b and we also know g b we also know f everything we know so in the laplacian this laplacian terms after discretization will contribute to both the coefficient matrix as well as the source matrix now let us see how to implement in in the CFD open form code. So again, we are writing this equation same here, and we'll be comparing it with FB CVI phi p plus CVB, where CVI is value internal coefficients and CVB is value boundary coefficients. So what is uh, the CVI here? So CVI is nothing but one minus f, and can we see? In the code is it 1 minus f yes 1 minus value fraction so correct cvb f phi b plus 1 minus f g b magnitude d would be cvb let us see if it is mentioned like this in the open form code f value fraction into reference value what we will be mentioning phi b yes correct plus 1 minus value fraction means 1 minus f into reference gradient into g b divided by delta coefficients divided by delta coefficients means delta coefficients is inverse distance so divided term will go up divided d means one divided one upon d it is not d so divided one upon d so d is going to go up and this would be multiplied with d magnitude d okay so this is how uh, correctly it is mentioned in the open form code uh, both the equations and yeah, but uh, let us think of something. What if the value fraction takes uh, uh, the value 0 or 1? Because as of now, the mix means anything between 0 and 1. But what about the extremes? What if the f value is 0 and f value is 1? Let us put them. If I keep f as 0 here, 1 minus 0 would become 1. Here 0, this will go okay this will be removed this term and here f0 means again 1 so it will become 5p plus gbd so this is the value for fixed gradient boundary condition so the mixed boundary condition changes to fixed gradient boundary condition when the value of f is 0 now let us keep the value of f is 1 if f is 1 this 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 this term and this term will be becoming 0 and phi f would be equal to nothing but f phi b okay f is again 1 so phi f would be equal to directly phi b which is the case of fixed value boundary condition this time 
so if the value fraction is 1 this mixed boundary condition becomes fixed value boundary condition and so this is how the things work we've completed everything related to mixed boundary condition and many boundary conditions are dependent on this uh, if you understand this you'll be able to crack many codes so yes please support my channel please give your likes and uh, do support me at the paypal if you really like this video thank you